Hello out there. Good morning. This is Terrence Young with eFunder. And today I want to talk to you about real estate, specifically about buy, fix, and flip loans. Okay. I want to talk to you about how to fund your deal, how to get 100% of the renovation money, and how to prepare yourself to be able to close quickly. Now, when you go after a property, do you have financing in place to buy that property? If you don't, that's where my company comes in, okay? Because once you acquire a property, a lot of times you may be purchasing this property from a wholesaler. You may be purchasing it from just driving for dollars. You may be purchasing from the MLS, right? So the thing is, you have a closing date on the sales agreement. So how can you get that deal closed quickly? All right. The number one thing that I'm seeing with real estate investors that want to flip properties, once they get that property under contract, then they find someone like myself who can be able to finance the deal and finance the renovation of that property. They're not prepared. Okay. Now, what do I mean by prep by prepared or preparation? Okay. So first of all, let's go through the process. Let's say you bring a deal to me, okay? Now, I look at the deal. I evaluate the deal, all right? You're going to fill out an application. Now, once that's done, of course, we're going to run credit background, okay? And every lender is different. Now, if you got a private lender, you probably ain't got to go through all that. You don't even need to be listening to this because you got private lenders. People just taking money out their pocket and giving, to, giving it to you. And that's where everybody want to strive to be. But the reality, that's not where everyone is. A lot of people have to be financed in order to do these deals. And even if you do have private lenders, you also got to remember money is limited. So you want to be able to have different sources of funding to be able to, you know, do what you need to do to build your real estate business, right? So what happens is once you fill out the application, Credit is ran once everything is okay. Now, understand, for the best pricing, experience is always best, okay? Now, if you don't have the experience, if you're a newbie in the business, that's fine too. But um, the more experienced you are, the more usually the better the rates are, the better the terms are for, you know, for your particular deal. Now, once the application comes in, the next step, and after credit background is ran, the next step is the appraisal, okay? We have to do an appraisal on a property. Most lenders are going to do an appraisal or BPO, right? But in order to do the appraisal, you have to do a detailed scope of work, okay? And that has been the biggest hangup I've been seeing with real estate investors. It's, they're not doing the scope of work. Now, here's what happens. We cannot continue in the process of ordering the appraisal, even if you got the money to pay for the appraisal and things like that, until we get a scope of work and understand the more detailed that scope of work, the better. But here's the reason why. That scope of work needs to go with the appraiser, okay? We have to give that to the appraiser because the loan that you're going to be getting for this property is an after repair value loan. So when we figure out what the after repair value is, that's what your loan is going to be based off of. See, if we don't have the scope of work of what you're going to do to the property, your budget, there's no way to determine that. So now the, the appraisal can't be ordered. The deal is held up, it's sitting in hold, it's sitting in limbo until you get that, right? And we cannot move forward until after the appraisal happens. So if you need to close in, say, 10, 15 days, 20 days, but yet you don't have a scope of work ready, then that's going to be the holdup. Because once that happens, everything else is pretty much clear selling, right? So what I want you to do when you find a property, get that detailed scope of work together. Get your contractor in there. 
Um, if you if you're good enough to know your numbers yourself, get in there, put that detail and understand this. The more detail, the better to get the highest value. Look, if you're going to put in a new kitchen, don't just put in new kitchen, eight thousand dollars, new kitchen with granite countertop with dovetail drawers, uh, with soft closed drawers, things like that. The more detail, the better, because now the appraiser can evaluate what your property is going to look like after all those niceties, I guess you could say, are put in there. And then your loan could be evaluated off of that. So that's just my tip for you. Um, I also want to throw this in there too. If you are a wholesaler, okay, a lot of times people just get properties under contract. But you know what? To be a really good wholesaler, to actually be a great wholesaler, Get a scope of work done for the project, okay? Because now when you find a buyer for your project, okay, they can actually take your detailed scope of work. If you already got a contractor set up, that's fine. Um, It's up to the buyer to evaluate everything, but at least you kind of help them along the way. So, because think about it, if you're wholesaling the deal to an investor, the faster they can get their scope of work done. And if they simply have to make some changes off of the scope of work that you've already done or add or add to, it also makes it a lot easier. All they have to do is come in, simply verify, make some changes, and this will get your loan closed faster so you can get paid. And just so you also know, when it comes to buy, fix, and flip properties, let's say you are a wholesaler, you got your wholesale fee, Lenders, I mean, bring those to us. What the lender would do is just put everything in as the purchase price, okay? So hypothetically, let's just say there's a $250,000 property and you have a, you know, a $20,000 wholesale fee, okay? So 150 and the 20. So now the purchase price of this property is 170. So that's the as is value, which should be 170. And as long as it appraises for that, then we're fine. Now the wholesale fee could just be paid out at closing. All right. So that's another topic for another day. But this is Terrence Young with eFunder. Um, I'm an I'm an owner of eFunder. We are a commercial mortgage broker. We help real estate investors and business owners find financing. Um, we help secure the financing to be able to help your company grow. So feel free to reach out. And if you like and found value in this, please like and subscribe and share this with someone. All right. So feel free to give me a call if you want to discuss a deal. My website is efunder.pro. That's E-F-U-N-D-E-R dot P-R-O. And I'll see you next time.